What's going on, everyone? Chris Beans here with Bowler's Rant, bringing you some new updates from Hammer Bowling. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and turn on those notifications. I do appreciate your support of the channel. All right, I've been talking about these upcoming releases from Hammer for a bit of time now, but today is the launch day. Let's take a look at them now. There's two announcements and kind of, it's like almost like two and a half announcements, all right? I already talked about the Hammer Black Urethane Pearl, which is on the top left in another video, kind of spilled the beans on that one with the insider information from an unknown resource over at Brunswick, we'll put it that way, politely, knowing that that's gonna be getting launched in March. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that, plus watch some ball motion. But the two that were announced today the Black Widow 3.0 and the Scorpion Low Flare. Let me tell you, you could just make a bag out of all these three and be very, very content. But we've got some a little bit of old, a little bit of new, lots to talk about. We're going to break it all down and plus analyze some of the video of these balls going down the lane. Over to the interwebs. Beans, give me the latest. You got it. I'm all over it like white on rice. Okay. So let's start with the big daddy. This is the Black Widow 3.0, okay? Now, in another video, I'm going to talk about the history of the Black Widow. There's a really awesome article on the Bullish Mart that talks all about this, and you can see all the different iterations. But just to give you an idea, the big thing with the gas mask of the Black Widow has always been this gas mask core. It's legendary. It rolls a very specific way. It has a very specific motion, and it's fantastic, right? I mean, a lot of people, if you've ever thrown a Widow and you're on a not on the soup, then you're probably going to get some form of favorable condition if you threw it halfway decent, okay? So is there anything new about this ball? There's only one thing new because everything else is pretty much the same. But we're going to cover it right now. Let's zoom in just a little bit and get right into it. This is an HK22 solid, okay? I don't... I, this might be the first AK-22 solid. I've seen the hybrid. We've definitely seen it on Pearls. And I have thrown a number of HK-22 balls. I think we saw it on a polished solid with the Vibe. I don't know if it's been on anything else. Somebody can fact check me on this. But this is an HK-22 solid of the with the Aggression Additive Package. Okay? So, black and orange. Love these colors. Fantastic. 500-1000-2000 C Air Microfoud. And this is for medium to heavy oil. The number's at 15 pounds, 2.50 RG with the 0.058 differential, 0.016 asymmetric differential. I talk about it all the time. 011 to 017 is the sweet spot in my mind for versatility with an asymmetric ball. Now, this is going to be like a benchmark. You know, this isn't like the top of the line high performance. Like it's not going to be as strong in the mid lane as say like an Envy. But it's going to be your benchmark ASIN. This is a good benchmark ball right out of the gate. So let's stop talking about it. Let's watch some video. Hammer released a release video. And you can see this thing's making a move at the end of the pattern. Now, I don't know what they're bowling on. And a mentor once told me, be careful what you see in the ball manufacturer videos. They set the lanes up for success. But don't take anything away from the people throwing these balls. These guys are monsters. They could probably strike with a soccer ball. But that doesn't mean the ball isn't good this ball is more than good it's fantastic okay i think widows is one of those things like everybody should own at least once in their life it's got a very specific motion winds up pop right back to 12 o'clock that looks amazing right this is the kind of ball first ball out of the bag to tell you if you really need to ball up if you're going to ride it and chase it left or if you need to ball down in case it gets too much and don't forget we do have some video for the lefties it's looking really sharp and it's going to be tunable for variety of conditions for the strokers keep your ball 40 degrees or less and the two-handers are going to go with some form of crazy two-hand layout and will adjust surface as needed based on the condition they're bowling on looks really good all right Next up, let's get into the Scorpion Low Flare. Now, full disclosure, up between these two balls, even though I like the way the other one looks better, and we'll talk more about that later, this is the one I'm really excited about. Why? It's all about this core, okay? This is the LED core, but it, it, the same you know um, version of it that we saw in the Scorpion Sting, but they lowered the differential and flare potential, and they took out the, I think it was the hockey puck at the bottom, right? So now you've got a low diff a low flare, you know, low differential ball with this hybrid cover. So what do we got here? Let me make blow this up a little bit. Oh boy, a little bit too much. All right, this ball has the Semtex hybrid cover stock, okay? LED 3.0 low flare core, purple, black pearl. Gotta tell you, love the colors on this one, okay? 
All right, the finished 500 1000C, uh, 2000C Air Micropad, the number is at 15 pounds, 2.474 RG with the 0 0.031 differential translation. This thing starts super early and it's got low differential, which means this is going to be a control ball, okay? Control balls are great for people who want to keep the ball in front of them. They want to wheel it and not have a crazy sideways reaction. Um, get you out of some tricky situations, right? So those are, you know, some of the at least design intent talking points that I've heard people talking about with this ball, and I buy into that. The numbers seem to match up with that. Starts up early. It's not going to go crazy with the reaction, but don't take my word for it. Here's Marshall Kent, ready to go right across fourth air. See what I mean? This is a very controllable reaction. If you had told me this was a solid right up front, I'd believe you. Um, and I actually haven't watched this video yet, so I'm watching this right with you guys. I always just usually go to the first ball reaction and keep it there, and I watch it fresh just like everybody else. Um, I feel like it's a little bit more honest that way. Here we go. Here's a lefty. Let's see what it looks like on the left. Bang. A little bit sharper, probably because the lanes aren't as beat up on the left as they are on the right. But let me tell you, this is a reaction that I think is really, really, really good, right? Kind of reminds me of an MV Tour, but the symmetrical version. And I think that's part of the design intent, right? This is something you can use in a variety of conditions, especially if you want to keep the ball in front of you. You can increase your speed, you know, trap your angles. You don't have to play crazy and go right up the boards and still see a favorable reaction. And that last shot, that did catch my eye. If you look at it, the way it comes off the pattern, a little sharper there, saw a little bit of more of the dry. That's what you get with hybrids, sometimes a ball of two different reactions. All right, one more shot. Let's take a look at it. Bang, bang, bang. Man. This ball looks good. I'm really curious what that's going to look like on sport patterns out there. If we're going to see that ball on TV or not. All right, for a bonus. Now, Hammer put this out. This was the one that surprised me because I know that Hammer was a bit butthurt about me spoiling their party by sharing the staffer email that said that this ball is coming in March. So I was surprised that they actually put this out there today just saying, hey, this is coming, right? What surprised me even more, though, was on YouTube... AJ Chapman and Anthony Lavery Spar have a ball review for it, and we don't even have the full specs for this thing. But that's not going to stop us from watching going down the lane. Looks like this is a 38 foot pattern. So let's take a look. There's AJ Chapman playing between 5 and 10 and 5. I mean, right up the boards. Boom. Liking this reaction. Looks a little bit weaker than the hammer purple urethane. And the big question in my mind is, is this going to be the battle of the century on the sport pattern between this ball, the black pearl urethane, and the IQ78U, right? That, to me, is the big matchup on the sport pattern. Let's see if we can find some of Anthony Lee Spire. Here we go. Here we go. This guy's got some hand, too. Third arrow coming in. Man, that looks good. That looks really good. I like it. Not as much back end as the uh, purple pearl thing. I want to say that the email that went to the staffer said that it was going to be four and one or four and two less than purple pearl urethane. It's not a bad thing at all, especially if you're trying to keep the ball in front of you, especially on a short pattern, right? Not bad at all. Looking sharp. Okay. Now. Last part of this preview, let's talk about shelf appeal. Okay. I think you guys know where I'm going to stand on this. It's going to be Widow all day long, right? And the other two I'm going to call a tie. And the reason for that is because if if I – let me and the, I should have used the other picture, but I'm not – it's too late for that now. If I go back to here on the web and I go right back to this picture where you can actually see the ball, this ball looks – phenomenal this is just this thing means business 78d urethane i mean it's like a part number on a car i mean this is this is really good i like this a lot all right now going back to the regular view that we had is the scorpion looking bad absolutely not it's looking phenomenal okay it is but the Sorry. <laughs> i've got this new apple watch and it's talking to me uh but the black widow i'm gonna take that all day long looking great hammer i salute you that's what we got for today of course universal release date will be in the video description and if you want to learn more about these balls and where you can pick them up i've got some links in the video for at least the black widow 3.0 and the scorpion low flare on bullersmart.com a lot of great information there but don't take my word for it 
You tell me what you think. Which one of these balls did you like going down the lane? Did you like the Widow 3.0? Did you like the Scorpion Low Flare? Or did you like the Hammer Black Pearl Urethane? Which one of these do you think looks better? If you were to get one, what layout would you go with? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Let's continue the conversation. More updates are coming. And until then, bow well.